What's going on everyone? It's me, ya giddly goodler, fiddly doodler, Alex the Rambler here, and today we're back on Hearts of Iron 4. Just before we begin, I wanted to thank everyone that's been backing me on Movember. Uh, we've already hit um, £500 raised, uh, so which is which is incredible. Uh, many thanks to a particular person, Onion Duck, who's, who's donated quite a considerable amount of money for that as well. Uh, so that's very kind of you, and, and thank you for sponsoring the stash. Hopefully it's worth it to see this. Also, just another little update. I'm going to be going um, into hospital for a couple of procedures on Thursday. So this might be the last video you see in a few days. I will hopefully be released the same day. Uh, but I have to do some preparation stuff on Wednesday. Um, I'm recording this on Tuesday. Uh, so this won't matter if you're watching this like months into the future. But just to let you know if you're watching this the day I release it. This might be the last video for a little while. Uh, hopefully I'll be released the same day and I can get back to my normal routine. But just in case, in the, you know, touch wood that there's no complications, uh, then I can then I can come back and, and start recording. But today I'll be doing a scenario where we're gonna, I'll, I'll reveal the real reason that Germany loses the second world conflict. Uh, I, I have to avoid using WAR and any reference to, to anything now because YouTube will demonetize me otherwise. But if you want more hoy, leave a like. Let's go for 5,000 likes, as, as per usual, uh, and leave a comment and subscribe as well, because every little bit of engagement helps. Today I'll be taking command of Lucia. This is a nation that I'm, I'm quite bad with. Uh, even worse, when I implement the Road to 56 mod, which is what I'm doing, I, I'm hoping this this will turn in and I will become the real reason that Germany loses this this scenario uh, through through my through my gained competence of playing Hoy for three years I might have a chance but the Soviet Union is is one nation that I've never really been able to excel at so it might go badly but it, although this doesn't matter just so you know I can't cheat there's there's Iron Man um, first things first I'm just gonna purge it purge it out purge everyone purge everyone and I guess I'll have to try and start equipping my troops with more guns unfortunately why they just won't sacrifice themselves for me I have no idea <laughs> uh, it may seem like I'm role-playing as Mr. S but I promise you I'm not okay this is not meant to represent Mr. S okay it's just a stash I'm raising money for charity now the the Soviet army in 1936 isn't isn't, isn't the best uh, to be quite frank, it's it, a lot of them aren't even equipped with guns, which is which is really good, really good. Better not criticise the big man S himself, or he'll, he'll, he'll get you. He'll get you. Hmm. I think I'll get rid of Radek. Don't know who that guy is, but I want to keep the guy that can give me extra stability. So farewell, Radek. Oh, also, if you're new to Hearts of Iron 4 and you've somehow stumbled across this video, I'll try and give you a few tips and tricks as I go. Uh, mainly, don't do what I do, unless I tell you that it's, that it's worth doing. Um, but, but if you're very new, build civilian factories in your nation before you build military factories. Oh, oh, brilliant. Um, disease outbreaks reported. Awesome. 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 Now I want to keep Mikhail uh, Tucheskas, the Tucheskas of Zivy. Damn it. Now I really want to keep uh, Mikhail Tucheski, um, because he's my best field marshal. All the rest are rank ones. So I'm going to get rid of uh, Rosovoski. Oh, and if you're also new to Road 56, it changes around. Um, well, it, it, it's a combination of loads of different mods, which they all make compatible with themselves. There's loads of different new focus trees and portraits and. Uh, different functions and, and, and it, it, it changes a lot and I think I'll get rid of all of the uh, the Navy and Air Force have been getting off easily so far let's get rid of them are you serious how hard is it to make the trains run on time oh I feel your pain there I feel your pain anyone else who lives in the United Kingdom does too okay well I guess I probably could try and help out Spain a little bit not too much not too much I think I really need the factories, so civilian, continue the five-year plan, gimme, 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 the factories, I want them. I'd rather not have the industrial report at all, just, just, oh dear. So I thought my units would be kind of useless, however they're still better than the um, uh, nationalist Spains, so we're actually making pretty okay progress. Huh. I would like my Starling constitution. There we go, it's time to update our old constitution and impress the world. Gimme, gimme. 
that political power. So what I have attempted to do is to cut off all of these troops in the south because they don't have access to a port right now, so I'm hoping uh, that this will allow these them to all suffer attrition. I don't know if that all is meant to work. I don't know if it don't know if it's going to or not. Oh, for God's sake, this disease. Stop, please. And what I've currently done is change my economy law to war economy, added in Nikolai, and I'm going to add in Mikhail Kalililin for extra stability. Oh, nice. And most of the units here are now pretty much out of supply, so they're just getting overrun. And it, it, Oh my god, even with my terrible stats, I'm still overrunning them. Nice. Oh god, the freaking railway! Ah, here we go. Improve the Trans-Siberian Railway, which will in remove industry slowdown and poor rail works. Oh my god, yes please. Right, so we've managed to secure the south. Uh, so I'm not sure if I outnumber them in division... Oh, uh, I don't know. It, it's, it's pretty even Steven still, but it's looking pretty... Uh, healthier. It's looking healthier for the for the Republicans now. Oh, finish the five-year plan. Yes, please. Bim, bam, boom. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, this the Spanish Civil War's gone a lot smoother than I expected. Nice. That's a bit bold of you, Poland. Not sure what you're hoping to hmm, gain from that. That's concerning. All right. Jobs are good and cancel my Lend lease, I think. Do they don't still get that, do they? No. Good. Oh, mass immunizations and education initiative, I guess. Fine, fine, we shall do it. Alrighty, guess I'll go for the old socialism in one country and then start trying to go down and, and getting my claims in the Baltic and, and annexing Tanatuva and all that jazz. Alrighty, anti-fascist diplomacy. Bim, bam, boom. All Western regimes are oppressive and corrupt. There are none worse than those who pretend to be progressive. Uh, so yeah, the mid-game for the Soviets is really just building. Just building lots of things. Like, I could justify on Latvia and do all that ja that, that kind of stuff, but I don't really need to. Oh, they formed the Baltic Union. Brilliant. Uh, but Germany's done a rather rapid Angelus, and it's seduced Romania. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we've got it, baby. Boom. Successful purge. Heh <laughs> Claims in the Baltic. I'm a-coming for you. <laughs> Germany's doing a very quick world war, and if they invade me... Um, oof, before 1941, I, I, I think I'm definitely screwed. Must prepare quicker. Must produce more military factories. Send the ultimatum to Latvia. Bam! Send the ultimatum to Estonia. You'll all be part of me, don't worry. It's just a friendly collaboration. Just just like my collabs with YouTubers. Just, just a nice friendly collaboration. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they Lithuania submitted too. Wow, that was <laughs> easier than it, than it than it should have been. Um, all right, just got all of those nations for nada. Cool. Oh, and we beat the Japanese in that little conflict there. Nice, very nice. All right, take claim state. I'm coming for you, Finland. Yes, the Russians demand. Boom, gimme. Ah, they said no. All right, um, I guess we'll... Destroy them? Yeah, I'm just sending in uh, Gregory Zukov. He'll, he'll be enough to crush the Finns. I'm not even going to bother going over this part of their border. We're just going to go straight for their capital, I think. Oh, yes, I will sign the treaty. I'll sign the Molder to the of Ribbon Troop. Boom. Well, this is going much better for me than it did for the Soviets' IRL. It's going a lot better indeed. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit, and then I'll puppet the rest. You can live on. With me! Forever! Alright, just going to try and recruit another 100 divisions. We're lacking some equipment, but hopefully by the time we need to have war, uh, I'll have a mass of men that that can't be moved. That's the aim. At the moment, Germany's going to lose this World War conflict because, <laughs> because everyone's joining the Allies and Germany ain't doing nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, socialist education in the Finnish Democratic Republic. Boom. Nice way to spend some political power. Germany honors the pact. Oh, for pity's sake, really? Um. <laughs> okay, that's a, bit, that's a bit bugged, isn't it? Before they even capitulate. Right. Hey, the purge is gone. And they still haven't finished Poland. Right. Are they even going to be any kind of threat by the time they come to me? Because it's, it's, this is pretty embarrassing. Uh, especially the fact that I've occupied this. Like, what the heck? Oh, there we go. Do I get the states now? Give me the states. Give me the states, please. Oh, it's not going to do it, is it? It's going to bug out like this. 
Oh dear, Trotsky survived. Um, ooh, that's not good. But I'm sure we, uh, mm, that worm, indeed. That is annoying that this has failed, and now I'm. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, I'm going to have two defensive lines, so these 60 divisions are just going to go straight to the front and uh, not really worry about anything. They're probably going to die, but that's fine. I can afford a few million deaths. No worries. I will send the ultimatum for Bessarabia. Gimme. I want it. Thank you. Right, so I currently have, I don't know how many million in the field, 2.5 million, and I'm just recruiting another 100 divisions. Uh, so this is it's gonna be probably a train wreck because they apparently can't even defend. Oh my God, Germany, why do you have to be so bad on this scenario, really? Well, it looks like France might finally fall in 1941. I honestly expected the AI to be a bit better than this. This is kind of embarrassing. I was hoping for a glorious war, but I might just have to do that against the Allies and just dominate Europe, you know? It's, it's a bit embarrassing for Germany. Well, all right then. Classic. They're justifying on me as I'm justifying on them. Brilliant. Oh my, I haven't even looked at this area. Jeez, that's... <laughs> Oh, Hirohito. So the moat, the moat, the might of my army now amounts to 4 million men. And I have 24 40 combat width medium tank divisions. And it, my infantry division should just 20 combat width stuff with anti tank, artillery, and uh, air support, pretty much. They're not anything special, but they should hopefully keep them. Oh my. Right. Oh, whoa, Nelly. Well, they have the war goal, but apparently they're not going to use it. I can probably take the stability hit. I'm not too bothered about having an offensive war. Let's go, muchachos. And they're not even attacking me, so I'm going to get my tank division set up just to pierce their army group center. Or well, what are you going to do about that, German? Oh, they're going <laughs> to... They're totally screwed. <laughs> oh, dear. All righty. Well, let's see what the tanks can do. Bam! Hmm, it's not as much of a whitewash as I thought it would be. So I've reloaded the save because whenever I decided to use my Air Force, uh, the planes weren't actually flying. So although it, it... Yeah. Zero active fighters, even though... Oh, it's working now. It's working now. Okay, that's good. No, it's not. What? Pourquoi? Well, anyway, I'm going to try and get this nice little pocket here. Nice little encirclement to start the day. But hey, we did it. We got the pocket for now. And um, they didn't hold. Uh, ah, they're mounting pitiful attacks on my mountaineers, the fools. Uh, but they are making a few gains down here, but it's okay. Like, it's, it'd be... Oh, sh hi. Okay, well, <laughs> my, my would-be encirclement clearly hasn't gone to plan, has it? Bloody Nora. There we go. Oh, oh! There's Romanians there. They'll be the weak link. The weak link, hopefully. I mean, kudos to the German forces. I thought they were a spent force, but apparently, they're they're holding pretty well. That's a bit embarrassing for me. A bit embarrassing, but you know, uh, I, I I can admit when I'm when I'm wrong. <laughs> oh no! I'm just trying to eat some chocolate, and they're going on an all-out offensive. You what, mate? You what? Their planes are apparently a lot better than mine. Oh my giddly goo! So I've no idea where this sudden thrust is coming from, but it's a bit of a pain in the, in the buttocks, really. This is in danger of being... All of this is in danger of being very cut off, but it appears they've stopped their, their attack down here. Oh, oh, just kidding. Hold the phone. The Sabadat Pact. The Republic of Iran has... Turkey is called Iran as our ally. Oh! Oh, yes! Thank you, Turkey. Wow! Oh, Hirohito. Oh, what has happened here, mate? I mean, that's good for me, but... Ho, ho, ho. So, I probably didn't have enough of an industry. Uh, 300 factories is an okay amount, but... Um, as you can see, like, I still got pushed back. Which I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting to be pushed back. Um, so I'm going to try a little bit of a counter-attack in Minsk. See see what see what this can achieve with Mr. Zukov. ba da ba 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 da Not a lot. No, 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 you should not be researching that, Germany. No, I, I highly disagree. 
Oh, and Hirohito's gone all the way to have a Japanese civil war. That's amazing. Brilliant. Good on you, Hirohito. Apparently the German uh, encryption now is so high that I can't even see their divisions. Love it. Absolutely love it. I think I'm just going to leave this for a while. I'm going to go get some water. Because I don't think I'm going to uh, be pushed back much. It appears they could push me. And now all of these units are being... Oh dear. Oh dear. And that's what happens when you walk away from your computer, ladies and gents. Oh my god. So when <laughs> my planes go into the air, I lose 25 to their 5. That's mad. Crumbs. No wonder I'm having trouble in the air war. Uh, but I have linked my territory again. Alright, well, I'm going to try and do a winter offensive of 44. This is an absolute ball... ball uh, um, I better say ball... Ball ache, and, and, and it, yeah, it's turned into a right old slog. Like, no, no, nothing's really happening in the war, except the German Ger Germans have lost 8 million men. But they're still doing U-boat effort. Nice. Nice. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. Might even get a little cheeky encirclement in certain stages. Well, wow, wouldn't, wouldn't that be a treat, everyone? Wouldn't that be a treat? Oh, yeah. We got them, chaps. We got them. Take them down. Noish. So, had a bit of a breakout. It's not quite the majestic encirclement I I wanted to achieve, but it's it's going uh, it's going all right. It's going all right. Oh man, the game does get laggy at this point, doesn't it? Holy moly. Uh, I yeah, I can't even click on Oh my god, please. Oh, the fall of Rome. Hopefully they can hold that. Thanks UK. If only a D-day would happen, that'd be nice. Oh. Oh, I have done an encirclement here. Didn't even realise that. Nice. Oh, Japan. Oh, thank you, Japan. Oh, isn't that nice of you? Thank you. Okay, I'm also spamming paratroopers now to try and get this over and done with. It's... <laughs> uh, wow, this has been... Uh, I think the least successful... Well, I don't know, I'll probably still win. Um, but if I can just like parachute people in now and then just start messing with them Just messing with the AI kind of exploiting them. We've taken memel um, You know that kind of stuff plop. Okay. I've landed in Bucharest. Does that, that almost oh? Okay, well I para dropped and now Romania has capitulated uh, that's <laughs> um, That's amazing awesome, okay I can also start bombing their infrastructure, such as Warsaw. Farewell. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. That might have weakened their resolve a little bit. Yeah, I think every time you nuke them, their war support goes down. Is that right? Or their stability, hopefully. Enemy bombing. Nice. I will nuke Berlin. Hopefully, by the by the end of this, Berlin might be nuked. See, it looks good for when I attack for a little bit, uh, but then I inevitably just seem to. Have a uh, have a run of bad luck and, and get in get in some certain trouble, you know. It's... Although if I could make this an encirclement, oh, they have. Oh, all right. Uh, we'll crush that encirclement then, please. Thank you. Oh, that's very tasty. Tasty, tasty. Oh, I have another nuke. Um, yep. Let's bomb Berlin again. Just reign of terror. Reign of terror. <gasps> Oh, yay! Italy's gone. Nice. Okay, that should help me out quite a lot. Ah! Oh, full of tick! Full of tick! I know this is not the optimal way, but I think I might just try and mass paradrop in Berlin. The, 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 the wasteland that is Berlin now. Oh. Mate, how long have I been recording? Way too long. Oh my god. I mean, they're going to get slaughtered, but at least it distracts them for a little bit, right? Do you ever reach that point in a video game where you just kind of just, just want to finish it? I'm at that point with this scenario now. <laughs> oh my god, this has been an utter slog. It's, it, I, I, oh. And they've still got 200 mil factories? What? I think we've finally broken their spirit. Yes. This might be a uh, rather red Europe after this. I'm going to take everything. Everything. Ah, screw it. Might as well bomb Vichy too. Oh no! Are the Allies about to walk in there? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hold on. No. I have to capitulate Venezuela. They're a major, are they? Oh no. Screw that. No, no. It's done. It's done and I control all of Europe. There we go. That's the peace deal. I've, I'm heading off now. <laughs> 
But yes, I managed to do it. It just took me a very, very long time to 1947 and I didn't even get a piece still. God, if you enjoyed seeing this, leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll be back hopefully very soon. Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Parappa the Trapper, Ryan Cock, Cody Freeze, Name Name 1231, Aiden, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too. I did it right that time. <laughs>